In this video, I'm going to show you how to parse and rewrite your article. Parsing is where the system takes your paragraph blocks and splits them into sentences so that you can rewrite your article sentence by sentence. Once you've done this, your project will be ready to be turned into one or up to 20 articles at a time using the system's batch feature. OK, so now let's choose our project to work with, which will be outdoor furniture. And as you can see, we've already got eight blocks to work with. In each block, you will find a box already ticked with include original sentences. If you have written the original content or it was outsourced, then keep this option ticked. If, however, you use the find content option, then it's better to untick it to make sure that all your created articles are more likely to be treated as original content. Next is the parse content, which splits the paragraphs into sentences, which we'll be doing in just a second and the activate box where you can choose which paragraphs you want to include within your newly created articles. If you scroll down the screen a bit, you can see that you can activate all or deactivate all with just one click. I'm going to go through and parse all the paragraphs in this project, so I'll pro pause the video until that's done. Okay, now that I've parsed all the paragraphs, you can see that each section has been greyed out. Now we want to click on View Variations. As you can see, the system has split each paragraph into sentences and you can go through and rewrite each sentence at a time. To keep things neat, you can click the Hide Complete Sections. And as each sentence is rewritten with your chosen number of variations, completed sentences will disappear and the next sentence will move up until the entire paragraph has been rewritten. You can view what you've written and edit any section by unticking the box and pressing update. You can also change the number of variations at any time too. You may have a sentence that can only be rewritten twice and you'd have two variations of it, but then you may have one that you could rewrite six times. So all you need to do is change the variations number and click update. I'm going to pause the video while I edit the first sentence to show you what happens next. The number of variations includes your original sentence if you've ticked that box to include it. Here we've chosen to include it, so as I add the final rewrite of this sentence by clicking add, you can see that it disappears and the next sentence moves up. I'm going to pause the video again to complete the rest of the sentences. Now this is the last rewrite of this paragraph. When I press add, you see there's no more text to edit and the completed variations on the right is at 100%. If you want to check your average uniqueness for each paragraph, you can by clicking the check button. Like so. You should aim for at least 30%, if not 50%. And the good news is that this percentage will automatically increase for completed articles once you've done all the rewrites, as the system mixes the content to create new articles. In order to get back to edit the next paragraph in your project, just click on your project name, and it will take you back to the project dashboard, like so. You need to rewrite all your paragraphs, just like in this example. I'm going to pause the video again and do it now. Now that this entire project has been rewritten, you can choose which paragraphs to include when we create our new articles. For this example, I'm going to activate them all. Also, as you've now completed all the rewriting, you can ask the system to check the average article uniqueness or wait until you start creating articles. If this figure is lower than you'd like, then you can always go in and edit your rewrites by clicking on View Article Rewrites. Remember to unclick the Hide Completed Sections and press Update, or all you'll see is the blank page. Now that's it for this video, and in the next ones I'll show you how to use this content we've just created. 